My name is Lucas Goris, and I've been involved with the PACT Urban Peace Program since the spring of 2006, right here in E.T. Seton Park in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And it's one of the biggest remaining forests left in the city of Toronto, so it's a vital urban forest. It's, uh, it goes north and south all the way to the suburbs of the city where the headwaters are that feed this river that flow all the way down to Lake Ontario. And there's deer that live in here, there's coyotes, there's owls, there's uh, pretty much uh, the most diverse range of species you could find in the city of Toronto. And there's forests right through it. Um, but a lot of these forests are in, in bad shape. We're trying to get the forests here to a state that they were about 300 years ago. The goal of the project is to plant trees and restore the ecosystem and also provide meaningful community service for these youth so they can give back to the communities, the communities that they live in and they could actually see the difference that they're making. So this here, this is a ground up bark um, that we put around the trees as mulch. It's called mulch and it serves several part purposes and it guarantees the survival of our trees. We put lots of it around every tree. One major thing it does is that it keeps the roots wet, especially during the summer. The surface of it will be dry, but you dig underneath it a bit, it will be moist under there. Secondly, it also nourishes the tree. As it breaks down, it gives the tree nutrients. And um, thirdly, in the winter, it protects the roots from the frost. It sort of uh, mediates the effect of extreme freezing on the roots. And fourthly, it uh, keeps weeds from growing around the tree. There's a lot of invasive weeds, so we put it on there heavy to try to keep the weeds away. And um, in, in tree planting, uh, it's been shown that trees that don't get mulched, usually half the time they'll die. But if they do get mulched, then 99% of the time they'll survive. So we're very diligent about mulching. We mulch all our tree, at least a wheelbarrow per tree and we have a 99% survival rate. And the city of Toronto really favors PACT and our volunteer plantings because we never leave a mulch pile. It's always, we always finish it off, whereas other groups, that's the part that they lack on. They, uh, they plant the trees, but they just give little mulch and they always leave a pile behind. So the city is very impressed with our work and that's why they chose us to plant this whole site, to restore this whole river, all these riverbanks from this project that was done here. Because this is the Don River. It's uh, the major tributary for the city of Toronto. It flows from the north. Uh, there's a whole bunch of headwaters and groundwater that comes up and it flows all the way down to Lake Ontario. So it's a major river system. And uh, it also, when it rains, a lot of storm water from the roads ends up in the Don River. So the, 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 the volume of the river can double during a storm, which causes a lot of erosion. A lot of the bank just gets washed away. Spots for these trees. So these two trees here, the tall ones are willows, and they like it by the water. And the other one is a service berry. We'll plant this one right here by the water. Yeah, you just want to make sure that your hole's roughly twice as big as the pot. You can check it by just taking the pot and popping it in your hole. And then you want the this part of the tree here to be level with the ground because everything below is the roots, which are uh, obviously very tolerant of water and moisture. But um, the top part of the tree would actually rot if it was uh, buried up too high so you just want to make well, sure I came to this program I think maybe uh, three years ago um, through to do community service with PACT which is a great chance to have and then uh, I just thought that it was a really great program right like to be out here on Saturdays planting trees in the hundreds like that's really really great because obviously we need trees to to breathe and to to look at everything right there's so many so many ways that they benefit us. Everything around here, everything on the, on the edge of this river, all the way around as far as you can see even, um, was just mud. 
and densely densely packed with various mm. trees and shrubs so that'll it'll be like forested in a few years and that'll be really amazing to see I came into this program on charges and um, I was able to have the chance to come to this program and to do community service here by planting some trees which was actually quite enjoyable for me I was able to do my community service hours come back volunteer with PACT have an opportunity to work with PACT and next year I'll be uh, running this program with another youth who came through the program which I'm actually really excited about that gave me the chance to not be involved with the legal system anymore which gave me a chance to just move on with my life and just to better myself right like without being caught up in that because nobody wants to be caught up in that. You can see the change that you're making. If you look all around you can see all the trees that we've planted and you know that they're all producing oxygen and they're all gonna grow big and tall and 30, 40 feet tall and it's just a really good feeling. I'd kind of be sad if I couldn't come back here and see my see my work. Yeah, Jeff came here in, in 2006 and he was uh, sort of looking for meaning in his life. Um, was on the verge of dropping out of high school and he came here and he was in the Boy Scouts when he was younger and it really reminded him of how much he enjoy na he enjoys nature. He said, I'd, I'd rather come here on a Saturday than be bored in my neighborhood. It gives me something to do. That we wanted to provide employment for youth who really took to the program that were really good. So we said, Jeff, why don't you come back, help us out every season and we'll pay you an honorarium. And um, yeah, he's a great success. And now he's almost finished high school. This is his last last semester. By a lot of Torontonians. And they've been out here seeing the work that we've done and complimented a lot of the youth that were here planting trees. They said, oh, you guys have done such a great job and good for you, good work. And a lot of these youth, they don't receive m much compliments in their lives. So it's very meaningful to them. The project is... It provides um, a sense of accomplishment for a lot of these youth who don't have much to be proud of in their lives because we'll come here and it'll just be just bare ground, bare grass, and by the end of the day we'll have it filled with 100, 200 trees. And I'll say to them, I'll say, look, look what you guys have done. You've planted a forest of tomorrow. These trees are all going to grow way taller than you are. You can come here 20, 30 years from now. There'll be a whole forest here. It'll be thick. You can walk through it. These are just young baby trees and they're all going to grow. So good work on you all. We've had over 200 youth coming through this program. A lot of them tell me how calm they feel coming here. A lot of them come from uh, highly urbanized areas with lots of traffic noise, lots of concrete, not, not much nature at all. So they come here and I just tell them to breathe and they just take a deep breath and they notice a difference a in the job, air quality. Yeah. And, and also a lot of them, I help them find work in this field, in landscaping, in nurseries, and I provide them with a reference uh -huh. afterwards. Lots of guys go on to find work and enjoy this outdoor work. Our society, and especially our school system, is, is failing a lot of these youth. Um, what they're lacking, the schools don't provide it. They, these youth, they don't take to sitting at a desk. But if I give them a shovel, show them how to plant a tree, they like just the self-directed work. They go, leave them alone, they plant, they like filling up the wheelbarrow. A lot of them are smarter than what people think, and I see that they're just lacking in opportunity. We're doing two good things at once. We're helping redirect youth, connecting them by nature, giving them meaningful work, getting them back in school, getting them working, jobs. And we're also restoring the ecosystems increasing the urban forest and uh, bringing more nature into the city. A lot of them are missing nature. Uh, all of us, really uh, urbanized people, are, are missing nature in our lives.